What's going on all my Uchios and Uchigos and welcome back to the channel. Guys, today let's talk about Boruto episode 26, a pretty good episode, man. It was pretty damn good. There was a lot that happened in this episode, so I'm gonna try to cover everything very quickly. Okay, so we're basically Boruto and the gang, obviously, you know, meeting up to go see uh, the, uh, the current uh, Mizukage. And as they're walking in with uh, Kagura and everybody else, and um, as they're discussing, you know, the situation would happen with the uh, Barto and uh, Barto and the gang and Wab and Iwabi. Uh basically uh, they're met by uh, the previous Wakagi uh, May because May's still in the village you know, and you know she, I guess she's like kind of guess watching over the current uh, Mizukage uh, Kagura make sure you know everything's running smoothly and whatnot but I mean May looks she still looks good as hell comparing like considering how long it's been like what what has it been like ah like ah close to almost 10 10 years? How long was Bart? 12? 12 years? Anyway, something like that. 12 years, 10 years plus, I know. But yeah, like, Mate, Mate is still, like, she's looking good. Like, <laughs> like that's the only real highlight of this whole episode. But no, seriously. So basically, you know, um, after that, uh, you know, Conqueror, like, he gives this speech, um, which, like, Borto kind of shrugs off. I mean, he's even being disrespect disrespectful to the Mizukagi. I mean, like, something has to be done about Borto. But I mean, of course, you know, he's still a kid and, and whatnot, but, uh, you know, like there's no exception. Like, like Conqueror's giving like an important speech about you know how, you know, basically the um the hidden mist village and you know in other villages you know once falls, but you know they came together, you know in this time of peace to you know to fight a, for a common cause and you know basically like and uh oh Conqueror also brought up that he wanted uh Conqueror to be the next uh, Mizukage, which is interesting because I mean like basically that's like that's basically Conqueror's successor, but you know. I guess Kagura doesn't really feel like he's, you know, I guess worthy of that title or whatnot, but I don't know. I mean, it, I, there's something off about uh, Kagura, which I'll explain here in a little bit. But I mean, after, you know, um, they had their little discussion or not, they basically went to, like, their suites. And, like, the lobby for the suites is pretty damn nice. Like, it is nice. Like, there's water fountains and everything. And basically, like, uh, you know, they were discussing Kag Kagura. And basically, like, he's, like, basically trying to be, like, one of the next 70... Seven Deadly uh, Swordsman of the Mist, which Barto has no idea what's that, which he, Barto doesn't even have a single clue what the seven, uh, se the legendary seven swordsman is, which is infuriating. I'm like, oh my god, man, are, are you serious, Barto? Are you, are you serious right now? But anyway, man, anyway, so like, they basically gave a discussion, like, basically, like, the seven, you know, the seven, you know, hidden swordsman of the Mist is basically, like, almost, t almost top tier to that of the um Mizukage and whatnot and basically you know Kagura's he basically just wants well he's training to be you know one of the uh one of the seven but um but as they're uh you know walking through and like they go to like this little training area which I think the the freaking miss the hidden miss village is like far superior than the hidden leaf because like they're ready because like when they go into this like little training area basically they are, they're already, you know, doing, you know, hand-to-hand -hand combat and whatnot, like, sword training, like, you know, and bouncing on water. I mean, which the Leaf is doing, too, but, like, they never actually, you know, really participated in any, you know, actual training regiments that I know of. I don't think Bartos has done that so far. I mean, they've done, you know, you know, controlling chakra to your feet and whatnot, but these guys, like, these guys are leagues ahead of them. Like, they're already fighting and everything and, and training and, you know, just, like, they're they're honing their skills and it's it's crazy that the freaking Miss Village is doing this and, like, Leaf is kind of like, oh, God, man. They're kind of slow. But, um, so basically, Kagura and Barto, like, they kind of, you know, squared off it and, like, had this little match, which Kagura, of course, like, he, he, he defeated Barto in, like, two shots. It was, like, the quickest two shots I've ever seen. And, like, but for some reason, I don't know what's going on with uh, Kagura. Like, he seems iffy because, uh, like, when he attacked Barto and, like, knocked his sword away, like, he had this this look in his eyes. Like, it was it was something else. It was, it was freaking crazy. Like, it was, I don't know, but he seemed, it was, like, horror. Or, like, he, Kagura, I think he's been through some things. Anyway, so... Um, <laughs> so basically, you know, Kagura, he kind of shrugged off like it's nothing or whatever, and like, you know, basically, you know, everyone came to him and was like, you know, we heard, you know, you're going to be the next musical game and whatnot, and like, he's like, nah, like, right now, like, my duty is my duty, like, I'm, I'm, I'm basically, like, yeah, all that's true, but like, this is what I have to do right now, and like, he's like, trying to be all noble and whatnot, and like, I can, and I swear, like, all these girls got so wet, man, like, I, <laughs> like, they're all gushing all over him and whatnot, I'm like, <laughs> 
like Congress, like this dude's, this dude's a G, man. Like he's, like he's basically just talking. He's just getting hoes. Like, <laughs> like oh my god, man. But so anyway, like so they go to this like amusement park, which like Boruto, like he shares this like like bread thing with the uh, Sarada, which of course like they're kind of foreshadowing like they're gonna be together and whatnot. Like that's uh, who who doesn't know that already? Like, but that's that's not important. So. Basically, you know, Kagura came over to them and basically, you know, sat down with Boruto and Sarada and saying, like, you know, basically, the Hidden Mist Village wasn't wasn't always a peaceful place, which we all know. Like, it was it was pretty messed up. And once you know, Conqueror took over as Mizukage, like things, you know, things got better. And like he basically said, like they never want to go, like he never wants to go back to that place where they were. You know, he wants to keep progressing forward, I and mean, which is kind of you know, Kage like of him. You know, it's, it's good to see that in you know, in a guy so young, like you know, he's not like just going through life like how Barto is like he actually has ambition and wants the village to you know go somewhere like a kage but um after that they go to this uh i guess like this mo like this monument place um i guess it's like a uh, like uh like a burial ground for someone i don't think they showed who it was but uh, i kind of wanted to know i might have to look up look at the video again but um basically you know as uh kagura is basically you know telling everyone that yeah like they don't like basically giving up like a history lesson on the uh on the uh of the hidden mist and whatnot like he basically also said like there was basically a like basically people said like there wasn't a single day that went by in the village where blood wasn't shed and i'm like damn man like the hidden the hidden mist is hardcore like them boys are killing each other every day because like of course we all know freaking zabuza like during the tuning exams like he had to actually kill his own classmates and like whoever was the last one standing you know was you know graduated and moved on and i'm like damn like that was that was that's crazy but um we also got and i finally we also got an explanation of why iwabi doesn't like the hidden miss basically his grandfather fought the fourth mizukage and he was killed so basically like that's it and i'm like oh so that's why but i mean you can you can kind of see you know it's kind of his hatred over everything and he said you know he don't like people you know glossing over everything being that you know nothing seeing that saying that you know nothing has happened and whatnot where basically like you know like this village is bad and like if no one wants to address it like everyone just want to kind of you know just pave over it but you know kagura apologizes which pisses the wall off even more but um also these guys uh freaking show up and like you know it's trying to mess with them and, and basically this one guy i guess i guess the leader of the gang or whatnot but that particular gang you know, he actually took a swing at these guys, like, with his kunai, and I'm like, oh, shit, like, these guys are really out for blood, like, these, these guys are trying to shank each other, like, <laughs> but, like, um, you know, Kagura stepped in and caught it, like, with his, uh, bare hands and whatnot, I'm like, damn, and like, this kind of reminded me of Naruto when he fought, uh, 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 Kabuto, that's it, yeah, when he, uh, fought Kabuto and, like, took a kunai in his hand and whatnot, but, um, yeah, it's kind of, like, reminiscent of that, but, um, <laughs> like, basically, you know, Wabi, you know, he took out, uh, like his earth style and took his spear and like turned it into like this big like you know jagged rock thing and like basically like scared, scared these guys off but um and basically uh like these guys like the these guys that were bargaining them like they went back to whoever i guess this is gonna be the main antagonist for this arc because uh they went back to this this guy uh this this shinobi who's you know again we couldn't really see his face and whatnot but like basically like he told them you know basically go teach them a lesson like go like go teach these snobs you know how we do things in the hidden you know in the blood miss village like he called it the blood miss village which is i guess one of these guys where they won't accept that things have changed in the village but i don't know but basically we have denki the last thing that happened in this episode denki of course is denki we have denki walking home after buying a lot of stuff he's complaining that you know it's heavy and he, for some reason he decides to walk down this very dark alley i don't know what it was but he decided to walk down this very dark alley where no one is and so of course he got got exactly yep they kidnapped danky and i thought um and like when they showed down everyone in their rooms and everything and you know saying that you know danky's late like there was a sound like sound like um like a splatter and they opened the curtains and it was like actual like actually just blood splatter and i'm like oh shit like these guys actually killed danky which would have been much better for Barto, like trying to really surpass naruto like in a way being that you know like this would have been more serious like i thought it was like actually denki's blood like i thought they killed denki and i'm like this would have been a big development like, in like the barto story because it would actually give you know barto some real world experience into the shinobi world and how things you know used to be and how and how things and how dangerous things could be 
but no, it's, it's not. It's, it's not Denki's blood. I don't know whose blood it is, but um, apparently they just had him, you know, tied up in uh, this like, in, like this old abandoned uh, building. And basically, you know, these guys say that you know, Denki is the bait, like, cause you know they have to teach Boruto, you know, a lesson. Like they have to, you know, just basically beat him to a pulp. And you know, I mean, just basically, I guess, prove a point for some reason. I guess just bowling him. I don't know, but um, I mean, it's kind of selfish. But I mean, cause you know. It is what it is. But guys, that's that's pretty much it for uh, episode 26. That was a pretty damn good episode, man. I I, I can't wait to see what happens to Denki. Of course, Denki's going to make it out all right. I I believe. I, I don't know. I believe he's going to make it out all right. But, uh, man, like, it was pretty it, it was pretty action-packed, man. Like, you know, with uh, with Kagura and Barto and, you know, these uh, other Shinobi guys. And with uh, Kagura catching that kunai. Um, kunai, sorry, with, uh, with his hand. With his beer hand. Man, it was, it was something else, man. And May. Oh my god, man, me, me. Mm. Oh, man, fucking me, man. But uh, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this episode. Let me know what you guys thought down below in the comment section. This has been your boy, the Apex Witch here. It is time for me to get out of here, guys. So take care. See you guys later.